morning. Welcome to Morning Devotions at Cross of Hope. It's Wednesday, December 29th, and for the third day in a row, it's also a festival day. Today, we're acknowledging Stephen, deacon and martyr. So let me just throw a little information about background on Stephen. Stephen was a deacon and the first martyr of the church. He was one of those seven upon whom the apostles laid hands after they had been chosen to serve widows and others in need. Later, Stephen's preaching angered the temple authorities, and they ordered him to be put to death by stoning, with Saul, later Paul, as one of the observers. As he died, he witnessed to his faith and spoke of a vision of heaven. So, the reading today is from Acts, and we're going to start in chapter 6 and end up in chapter 7, so I'll go ahead and start reading. Acts 6. Stephen, full of grace and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Then those who belonged to the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and others of those from Sicilia and Asia, stood up and argued with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they secretly instigated some men to say, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people as well as the elders and the scribes. Then they suddenly confronted him, seized him, and brought him before the council. They set up false witnesses who said, This man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and will change the customs that, Jesus, that Moses handed on to us. And all who sat in the council looked intently at him, and they saw that his face was like the face of an angel. Then the high priest asked him, Are these things so? And Stephen replied, Brothers and fathers, listen to me. Then we skip to verse 51. You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you are forever opposing the Holy Spirit, just as your ancestors used to do. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They killed those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, and now you have become his betrayers and murderers. You are the ones that received the law as ordained by angels, and yet you have not kept it. When they heard these things, they became enraged and enraged and ground their teeth at Stephen. But filled with the Holy Spirit, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. Word of God, word of life. The devotion, of course, is focused on that last verse where Stephen knelt down and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. As an ELCA deacon, a minister of word and service, I appreciate the story from the book of Acts. Stephen is the first deacon recorded in scripture, as well as the first individual martyred for his faith in Jesus. Stephen is a faithful servant of God who serves the community willingly and shares God's message of salvation even in the face of danger. His model of commitment challenges and encourages us to be faithful servants of Christ too. Like Stephen, ELCA deacons are called to serve all God's people. But the truth is that every one of God's children is called to serve, to wash the feet, literally or figuratively, of all people. 
We are called to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. May we follow Stephen's example of faithfulness and servanthood to God and all those around us. Please join me in today's prayer. God, help us to be your faithful servants. Teach us to be your hands and feet in the world. Amen. And the prayer concern for today is for ELCA deacons, those who are ministers of word and service. So, blessings on your day. Thank you for joining me, and we shall see you again soon. Stay safe and warm.